Hello everyone, welcome to Charmichal Kitchen on Nolly Rocky TV. We're going to cook a goosey soup today. And permit me to introduce to you some of my ingredients that I'm using to cook this egusi soup. This is dry otazi, one of my vegetables that I'm using today. We have here stuffed fish head, isho broko. We have one and a half tablespoon of salt. Chopped onion. And here we have uh, three bowls of uh, scotch bonnet and uh, four cubes of Maggie, um, ginger and garlic. This is our crayfish. This is already washed and clean um, our body, our funnel. This is already washed shaki, ready to be cooked afano as well. And this is our goat meat, already washed, ready to be cooked. We have here smoke. Mackerel. I made it myself. I smoked it myself, so it's very clean and nice. Nicely smoked. Can't cook without this uh, smoked mackerel. So this is one of my ingredients as well. <laughs> we have here. Um, this is frozen spinach. So we are using spinach and diotaze in this egusi soup today. There are many ways to cook egusi soup and there are many uh, many uh, types of uh, vegetables you can use to cook egusi soup but today we are using this uh, spinach and the otazi to make the egusi soup. We have here some palm oil. This oil is 100% original oil from my own village. That is where the oil comes from. Right one. And this is mushroom. I cannot cook without this mushroom. So I always love and use mushroom in cooking my soup. This is two cups of egusi melon. In English, egusi. So this is the egusi we are going to use today to cook this soup. At this juncture, I'm done introducing my ingredients for today, but I want to really make a note because all these ingredients I've just introduced right now is for myself. I'm cooking for myself and for my family. So I know that some, so many people might not like a mackerel or a mushroom or um, crayfish or garlic or ginger or some other ingredients I'm using here. But whatever you want, you can list it out for us to cook for you if you want us to cook for you. And also if you're learning how to make a goosey soup, you can also use whatever ingredients you feel like you like and you don't have any allergy to it because I know that some people have allergy to some of or, or some of this stuff so you cook according according to what you like and uh, what you prefer to cook with 
so but today this is my ingredient that i'm using to cook for my own family yeah so this is it for today and please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe on our youtube channel and to follow us on instagram and facebook page at chummy chop kitchen and then um, don't forget to like and send us some um, comments we appreciate and we welcome comments whatever thing you want to say concerning our cooking we appreciate We we'll cook this shark for about 15 minutes because shark is hard so we need to cook it to be soft it's going to cook for um let me say another two minutes before we can add something else but uh, i'm going to put um, one maggi cube and salt one maggi cube A little bit of salt. Add some water. Then cover. It's gonna cook for two minutes. Okay, now we are going to mix the ogusi with hot water because I don't want to fry it. That's why I need to use hot water to soak it and mix it before I can put it in the soup. This is another way of cooking ogusi. If you don't want to fry it and uh, you don't want it to be smooth. You have to do it this way. You soak it with hot water, boiled water. You soak it with boiled water. See what I'm doing? Make sure everything meets together. Then after mixing it, you just set it aside and still wait for your meat to cook before you can transfer it to the pot which you're using to cook the soup. I always like my egusi to be very thick. I don't like a watery egusi. But it depends on you though. If you like your egusi to be watery, you can then reduce the amount of egusi you're using to, to cook your soup. But for me, I like lots of egusi in my soup. So it depends on your choice though. add more water all 
all right let's set it aside now and still wait now it's cooked and for about two or three minutes yeah two minutes so we'll add our stock fish head And we are going to also add um, the goat, the goat meat. To we'll add the goat meat here. Our sliced onion. And add one more Maggi cube. Adding one more Maggi cube to season our meat, our goat meat. Then add a little bit of salt. Now, let's see how far we've gone. So you see, see how the mixture is going. It's going very well and it's looking nice. So now we are going to add the smoke, the smoke mackerel. We are going to add the smoke mackerel now. Well, I love mushrooms so much. Mm. Wow, I can't wait to eat this soup. My mouth is already watering. Woo. Now we are going to add the um, pepe garlic and ginger and then add two spoons of uh, of palm oil you know the fresh palm oil Now we wash our crayfish, wash it very well because of some little, little sand, tiny sand. So you wash it very well. The 
before you blend it. Coming up well. Our soup is coming up well. So now we are going to add the remaining ingredients. First of all, we we'll add our crayfish. Already wash it and blended it. And always make sure you wash your crayfish before you use it. Because there is always a um, little sound uh, in, in the crayfish. So make sure you wash it very well before you use it. Otherwise, you're going to be chewing sand throughout. So, now we add it. This is the otazi, already washed and sliced. Now we are going to add our elusi. This is the elusi. Cover it for one minute, please. Let's see how it looks like. Yo, you see, this is why I didn't um I didn't fry it, and I, I left it. I after putting the this, I left it to cook for one minute for me to get some balls on it, so it won't look so smooth. This is how the soup is looking. And now we are going to add the um, spinach. It's already defrosted. So we are going to add the spinach now. I didn't slice my spinach because I like to see it in my soup, you know. But some people, I know some people like to slice it. If you slice it, it will disappear. So I like to see it. That's why I didn't slice it. Okay. 
mage. We are going to add one more mage. And I don't want to add too much because it contains salt as well. Cover it for one minute and we'll be done with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our soup is ready now. Look at it. It's ready now. So, um, Please remember there are some suspense on, on the timing of on this cooking. If you have any question about the timing, just drop your comments on my page so we can discuss it. So I invite you guys to get your swallow less jolly with this soup. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on my page. For us to talk more about this. Bye bye. I love you all.